What? You don't want to try it, do you? Uh, oh, no. S see, I was just trying to get my drawing right. It's Winona. She's this space warrior. She fights aliens and has a laser gun and cool blue lipstick. Do you plan on drawing like this forever? I mean, I want to get better someday. Well, that'll be a long way away if you don't start taking a more serious perspective. You want people to like your art, don't you? Don't you want to be like your grandmother? I think it was then, in that dumpy diner, that I realized my grandma was evil. She was right. I wanted to be like her, but I didn't want to be an artist like her. She had paintings all over town, in churches, and in galleries, and even the dumpy diner had a boring watercolor of three red flowers. None of those things sparked life in me, but a TV sitting in the corner, playing cartoons throughout our meal, did. The grandma that was childish, and it feels weird as hell to be put down for being childish when you're only seven. Like she was trying to replace my heart before it even learned how to beat on its own. Like I said, I still wanted to be like her, but I didn't want her small town fame or her recognition. I just wanted her lipstick, and to draw my own art and shape myself my own way. But it would be a while before I really learned how. It's funny how I can see my desires reflecting back at me and almost completely ignore them for so long. Being what somebody else wanted just felt easier, but it was waning on my body and my heart. It left me wondering what my original thoughts actually were and what I was just doing for someone else's sake. I thought I knew I liked to draw cartoons and to grow my hair out and to pretend I was anywhere but my grandma's house, and yet I still find myself wishing I could paint boring flowers to hang in churches and cut all my hair off and call my grandma and tell her I'm sorry for cutting her out of my life. But I don't think I am. I don't think I want those things. And still, I'm not sure if I actually think that either. I'm living on my own for the first time and even though the sources of thoughts that say you can't improve, you can't wear that, you can't be yourself are now gone, the echo still rings in my head like there's a fire burning in my brain and I was tricked into pouring gasoline on it myself. Is this what a realistic perspective is? Hating myself? Hey, cool. I used to watch that show all the time. I didn't know they made stuff for it. Oh, they don't. I made it myself. Whoa, really? You should start selling them or something. Yeah, I wanted to, but I... I don't know. Well, I think you should try. That's a good color, by the way. It'll definitely look good on you. Maybe it's time for an entirely new perspective. first tried to sell my art. It took a little while. It felt good to talk to other people so openly about it, even if they left without buying anything from me, but I still craved the validation of someone else liking my work enough to buy it. I was afraid to let Grandma be right about my art. But finally, someone approached me and saw something that stuck out to them. A poster I drew of a childhood cartoon that mutually inspired us. With stars in their eyes, this 20-something held my art in their hands and said, Yes! This is going right on my bathroom wall! <laughs> it was no church or gallery, but it was somewhere. It's still out there, telling its owner that what they love is worth loving. And if someone else can get that from my art, maybe I can get it myself. Maybe it can be just for me sometimes, and I can be happy with whatever I make even if it doesn't end up on someone's bathroom wall. I like my art like I like reflections of myself. Some days it makes me feel really good, and some days not so much. But every single day, 
There's absolutely no reason to feel bad about what I see. Times of overwhelming self-hatred can still creep up, and they probably will for the rest of my life. But I don't have to let those moments define me. I went so long without trying to capture anything I wanted, but now I'm a space warrior with cool blue lipstick, and only I can define me.